I'm Kyle from Smartphones Plus, and I'm gonna show you how you can remove your iCloud from a device remotely. So let's say that I'm selling this iPad, right? I'm selling my iPad mini six to Smartphones Plus. So I send it in through the mail and they email me back once they get it and say, hey, your iCloud is still on here. Your account is locked. You have to still go and remove that to get paid. So they have the device, but I need to remove the iCloud. So how can I do that without the device? Well, there is one way and that is from iCloud.com. So let's say that I sent this to Smartphones Plus, so they actually have this. I don't have this anymore. So let's get rid of that. But I do have my phone. So let's say a different scenario is you sent in your phone, so you no longer have your device that you can access your account from. So you don't need your actual phone. You could actually use any computer or any device. All that you have to do is go to iCloud.com. So that's the first requirement. You do have to have access to either another Apple device with your Apple ID on it or your phone number to get the code to allow you to log into iCloud.com. Let me show you what I mean. So let me just open up the browser and we can just type in here iCloud.com. All right, and then I'm going to hit sign in. And this is a device that is brand new wiped. So there's no information on this device. My account isn't on here. I don't have any personal information. You can see that the iCloud is off. So we'll just say, for example, in this scenario, I had my iPad, right, that I sent into Smartphones Plus. So I'm using my phone. But we can also say that I sent my phone in and this is just my friend's phone that I'm using to remove the iCloud. That can work as well. So you can see here it's asking for your phone number or email. So let's get that email in there. One thing about this email is a lot of people think that it has to be at iCloud, but it actually could be just whatever the account you created it under. So it could be Gmail, could be Yahoo, could be whatever that account is. So don't let the at iCloud confuse you. For example, mine is a Gmail. We got our email, so we'll hit next. Now we can punch in our password. After I put my passcode in, it's gonna send a request to all devices that are logged into my Apple ID. So if you have an Apple Watch, an iPad, another phone that's logged into your Apple ID, then you can go ahead and take that device. And let me show you what that looks like. So here's my Apple Watch right here, and it's saying Apple ID sign in requested from my account. So this could be from any Apple ID that's signed into the same one. This is what it's gonna look like. And then it's going to say the area basically that the location is requesting and then you can either don't allow or allow if you allow then it's going to give you that six digit code that you can punch into icloud.com to log in once you put that code in it's going to log you into your account but what if you don't have another device logged into your apple id then you can use this didn't get verification little blue link right here and then you can text a code so that'll send a code to your phone number so you do have to have a working phone number or another Apple device in that Apple ID to log in. Let's go ahead and text me. So here you can see on my phone, I got all these codes. So Apple's sending me this six digit code that I could punch into there and that would log me in as well. After you get the code, it's gonna ask you to trust the browser. So you can go ahead and hit trust. Now after this, you're gonna be logged in. So what you wanna do is hit these nine dots in this top corner this top right corner up there that's going to bring up your apple id services and menu so what we're looking for is this little radar guy right there that find my so we can go ahead and click on that and then it's going to show a list of all my devices whatever device that you would send in or you're selling we can see i got my apple watch that i showed my phone that i just showed and i have those right but i sent in this ipad smartphones plus has that and i need to remove my account so what i need to do is first hit erase device this will erase all the content and settings such as apps, photos, messages, and everything else. So just be aware of that. And then hit next. To continue, it's just going to ask you for your password one more time. Looks like it's also sending a code. If you don't have those devices, remember, it didn't get verification. And then send that code to your phone number. This step really doesn't apply to us in our scenario, but if you ever lost your iPad, you could put a phone number in here. So if someone found it, they would see that phone number and know to contact you. So we'll hit next, same thing. If someone found it, you can leave a little message for them and let them know how to contact you after they found it. But we can just hit erase. Erase started. So this iPad is being erased. If you recover this iPad, some services may be temporarily unavailable after it's restored. 
Now you can see that the iPad is erased and remove from this device pops up down below it. That's what we're actually looking for. This remove this device is how you remove the iCloud. You can see remove iPad from your account. This iPad is linked to your Apple ID. Removing it will allow it to be activated by another person. That's exactly what we want. So now we can hit remove. It's gonna ask us for our password one more time. Now we can see it removed it. It took about a minute, but now when I go back to my list, there's nothing in the list. So the iPad has been removed. If you found this video helpful, subscribe for more and check us out on smartphonesplus.com.